Welcome everyone, I am the Seamster. What are we doing today? Today we are going to be using non-usable space. All right, so when you have sinks, that's considered to be non-usable space other than what it's used for. But if you can build like a shelf over the top of it, now it becomes usable. And then when you need to use the sink, all you do is just remove that top and set it and then pick it back up and move it to where you want it to. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do that. Come on. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just make this part here. I don't want to go all the way over to here. I'm just going to go from here to here and cover these two sink bases. So it'll just stick from there to there. And we're going to make that two feet. All right, so my legs have got to fit in between here, and that's not going to require too much. Maybe just a one by inside of there as far as the thickness. And then this way here, I want to be able to go over the faucet and over the top of this here. So. We're going to go, yeah, I'm going to make that 18. So 18 by 24 on the outside. And then my height, I just go move that there and then go from there. And I know that my height is, the minimum has got to be at least six and a half. Okay. So six and a half from the bottom up. So six and a half by 24 by 18. And it'll just kind of just fit over the top and it'll be hollow underneath there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my top which is 18 by 24 and then i'll work on the legs after that because i need to know what my top is first and get that all squared up lucky for me i had a couple of one by eights it's not really one it's just like three quarters of an inch but good enough and this is what I'm gonna use for my sidewall so I'm just gonna cut this down to the uh, let's go seven inches I'm gonna cut these down to seven inches remember the six and a half minimum is what I needed to get over the top of that faucet head all right so I didn't go with the seven inch I went with six and three quarters because I just wanted it to be a little bit lower I don't want to keep coming up the next thing you know it's up by your neck so just a mock of what it's going to look like. All right, something like that. You got the idea. Alrighty, and I may have to put in a couple blocks on the underside just to get some stability because, you know, we don't want this thing to be wobbling on us. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I took these scrap ends and I put them right there. As you can see, it's going to be hollow straight through here um, just to give it some more stability. Okay, so that'll basically just go on like that. And I'm just going to use some two inch drywall screws. I'm going to pre drill here and here and then there and there and then drywall screws up on the top also, uh, just so I don't split that wood underneath there. And uh, that should give it enough stability so that this doesn't wobble all over the place. It will just set down nicely. So now that I got all my screws in all the way around, I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and just go around because I got some burrs. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Give you a little close up. Okay. And there's the underside right there. All the way around. Yeah, I like it. That came out pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put some that FRP on the top of this. All right, so once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this 18 by 24, but it'd probably be easier if I just went ahead and what, just traced it from the underside. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Give myself just a little bit of a 
showing edge. Okay, not much. Yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just slightly move that off of there, off the edge. And now I'll just go ahead and get my four inch disc cutter and cut that out. take your sandpaper and just go around the edges just to get any burrs off of there. Okay. It's pretty good. I like that. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just leave the FRP and I'm just going to paint the rest all white. Because it's only a temporary use, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fasten this right to there. And then paint the rest all white. Or I'll paint it. I'll paint first, then I'll fasten that. How about that? Okay, got the second coat of paint on, so now I'm ready to put this FRP down. And you want to make sure this is clean surface, so just take a damp cloth and just wipe this backside down so make sure there's no dust on it. So now let's go ahead and take this construction adhesive. And we don't want to put it too close to the edge, okay? That, that would be a mistake because it will just run out on it. So just keep it nice and thin. Take that all the way around that edge. Okay, now we're just going to fill in. Okay, so take our FRP and we'll just simply just set that right on down on the top of there. Just checking our edges all the way around. Remember, if you do go over with that stuff, it's easy to just touch it up with some white paint. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, all I'm doing is just, you know, pressing this down. So let's get a good bond. let that dry for 24 hours till tomorrow and I'll go ahead and put that in well there it is everybody it's complete and uh, the FRP pretty much adhered really well um, doesn't peel up I already tested it and I had to do a little touch up with some white paint all the way around but as you can see it just scanned back just a little bit here look at there you got some working space okay and you also got to have an area remember for your dry area for your dishes, okay, and silverware. So just be mindful of that when you are putting in your sinks. You gotta have that area for a dry area. Look at there. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Now it looks good from the outside. It looks good from the inside. It's clean. It's a, a, a flat surface that's washable, cleanable. Yeah.
And bam, just like that, everybody, you got yourself some usable space. So when you're done with it or you got something else going on, you might need to wash some dishes, you simply just pick it up and move it to another spot, okay? Maybe on top of the freezer because you don't have anything sitting over there. But as you can see, look at there. It fits in there nicely. It's sturdy. It isn't going anywhere. So yeah. So with that, you guys know how this goes. Do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make the world a better place and let's give it some hope. Come on, everybody. Cue that music. <coughs>